Indeed is a good evening. Hello and welcome viewers. You're watching India up front and I am Swati Joshi. Like the Prime Minister said, Chanda Mama is no more Durke. He's just a tour away. Congratulations to the entire nation and especially the ISRO team on the successful soft landing on the lunar surface. We have a majestic liftoff of LBM-3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Like they say, one should never forget their roots. So let me draw your attention to two images. Images that establish what a mammoth leap this has been for India and its scientific community. Images that depict a remarkable journey from modest beginnings in the 1970s when it transported rocket components on the back seats of bicycles to becoming the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft, indigenously built spacecraft on the moon's south pole. What we witness today is a testament to the nation's grit, determination and vision. It is only once in a blue moon that something like this happens and today with Chandrayaan-3 mission, India has etched history on the dark side of the moon. Powered by years of research and a billion prayers, the moon craft has left the world watching in awe and witnessing the feat from South Africa, Prime Minister called it a new flight of new India. Mere parivar jano, hamare vajjaniko ke parishram और प्रतिभा से भारत चंद्रमा के उस दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर पहुंचा है जहां आज तक दुनिया का कोई भी देश नहीं पहुंच सका Well, uh, what we are getting for you at this point of time are the first images that have been shared by the lander Vikram. And, uh, you know, soon we will also get an update about the movement of rover uh, as it descends on the surface of moon. But these images are very, very important after a successful soft landing. Now we've started getting data, we started getting images. And this on your screen is the first image that has been sent by Vikram, the lander named after Vikram Sarabhai. Now our scientists, remember, have accomplished what superpower was like US, Russia and China could not, not only in terms of scientific skills, but also the cost effectiveness. The cost of India's lunar mission stood at $75 million, which is less than half the budget of a Hollywood film, Interstellar, that cost $165 million. Basically, a film about space cost more than an actual space mission. Possibly the biggest leap in lunar research has been propelled by Atmanirbharta push. Chandrayaan-3 is a lunar module that was indigenously developed by Indian scientists on Indian soil. The technology on board lunar module, including the avionics and other critical materials, everything sourced and developed in-house. देश को इस ऐतिहासिक उपलब्धि के लिए गौरवान्वित होने के लिए अवसर देने के लिए आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी का भी हार्दिक अभिनंदन, जिनके कुशल नेतृत्व में देश सफलता के नित नए कीर्तिमान स्थापित कर रहा है प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में भारत अंतरिक्ष क्षेत्र में अपना अलग अनोखी पहचान बना रहा है यह आत्मनिर्भर भारत का मंत्र पर खरा उतर रहा है well, this is just the latest in India's endeavor as it eyes entry into the $447 billion space economy. ISRO has been going all out to establish the country as a low-cost yet reliable satellite launch service provider. And the first mover advantage 
of course, greatly adds to the initiative. But self-reliance has been one of the bedrocks in Modi government's policy making. After the Prime Minister's call for Atmanirbharta during the COVID pandemic, India also manufactured COVID vaccines within a year of the COVID outbreak and became the second largest manufacturer of PPE kits. Indigenous production in India's defence sector also crossed the 1 lakh crore rupee mark for the first time in the last financial year. And our digital payments infra has left even the German minister mesmerised. And as the Prime Minister said, India's success is not just India's alone, it belongs to the entire human race. India's successful moon mission is not just India's alone. This human-centric approach that we present and that we represent has been welcomed universally. Our moon mission is also based on the same human-centric approach. This success belongs to all of humanity.